So, I said I would give you a story. I had to pull off on the freeway. That's all right. Oh wait, no, that's good. So, in uh, about 97, I had a hernia that I had to have repaired. And uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know what a hernia is. It's just where a part of your intestine kind of goes bleep, and, and pops out of where it should be. And so they had to uh, they had to cut me open and push it back where it was supposed to be, and you know, cut it closed, and so on and so forth. So I'd already been in. I'd already had all the the, the you know the being checked out done and everything else. And uh, I get a call about 10 o'clock the night before the surgery. Is this Mr. O'Brien? I say yes. My name is Dr. Timothy Johnson, and I'll be your anesthesiologist tomorrow. And I was just calling to see if you had any allergies that we needed to be aware of. So I said, yeah, I, uh, I don't like to take aspirin because it gives me nosebleeds and I can't take penicillin because I get hives. And he says, okay, that's fine. So you're not going to be able to eat anything tonight after midnight. You can drink a little bit of water, but don't eat anything. Don't drink any alcohol or take any drugs until your surgery tomorrow morning. So I, I, I say, so I, I guess I have to cut out my morning crack then. And he goes, <laughs> so anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. You have a good night. And I hang up on the guy. Obviously, he's been sampling his product quite heavily. But, you know, I'd rather have an anesthesiologist who understood the effects of what he was using. So I go in in the morning. And the worst thing about going in for an operation is you, you get to the hospital like two hours before you're supposed to be cut open. And you sit around. And then they say, all right, come in here and, and you know, get naked and we're going to give you a, a, a paper towel to wrap around your body um, and you can hold it together here with this moist towelette. And, and then you, you do that and you, you, so you, you take off all your clothes, you put on the moist towelette and the paper towel and you're kind of waiting there forever, laying on this hospital bed with a sheet on you that you're freezing because the places are cold. And then the nurse comes in and she's like, we need to stick a, uh, an IV drop in your arm, a little catheter so that, you know, they have easy access, they don't have to get a vein. So she comes in and she shoots the thing into your arm and, and um, you know, it's just like giving blood, only um, less painful actually, because she, once she puts the, the catheter in, she takes the needle out, it's like, oh, it's just something sitting in my arm here, that's fine. And then you lay on the bed and you wait forever again there's nothing to do. You know, you're starting to get uncomfortable because you're naked and you got something in your arm. And then five people come into the room. They're like, all right, let's go. They take you off. They run you run you down the hallway and you get into the thing and there's five more people there and they're all unwrapping instruments and, and uh, plugging things into each other. And there's a machine that goes bing. And, uh, and you're, you're kind of laying there and they're getting ready to tape things to you. So they start taping stuff to your chest and plugging things onto your finger and and taping your face down and so on and so forth and this face leans over Mr. O'Brien I'm Dr. Timothy Johnson we spoke last night yes I remember you oh hello, hello Dr. Johnson I have given you a little something to help you relax before the surgery I say thank you and so I'm sitting there and they're plugging all of this crap into me and you know the thing on the finger to monitor the oxygen level I don't know how that works they got a light light or something like that they, they shine a light through your fingernail and they say you have eight oxygen in your blood I hope I hope eight's good and uh, they're taping things to my chest like they're gonna you know, do uh, electroshock therapy or something like that. And doing all of this at once, and Dr. Johnson's given me a little something to help me relax. And I remember thinking, <laughs> Star Trek, or 
Star Wars. I remember thinking, Star Wars. And I went, huh. And then I woke up like eight hours later. It wasn't actually eight hours. It was, you know, the actual surgery itself was only like an hour or so. But I, I, I said, huh. And that's the last thing I remember before waking up with a partially saved, shaved crotch and staples in my body. So I guess what I'm saying is don't worry and enjoy your anesthesia.